In this video, we're going to be using McDuff Soap Company Lychee or Lychee as a stone fruit and the Twig Thorn Edition Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Lychee or Lychee is a stone fruit. And I looked up the way to pronounce that word, and it's both ways, depending on what on where you are. Could be lychee, could be lychee. You pick whatever you like. But anyway, lychee is a stone fruit, which is a weird name in my opinion. I'm not, it's kind of a long name for a shaving soap, but anyway, it is what it is. And this is by McDuff's Soap Company, which is the first time I've ever used a soap from McDuff's Soap Company out of Canada. I don't know a thing about them. I uh, got this from the Razor Company. The price on it was $19.99 for 4.23 ounces or 472 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. The notes will show you right here. And honestly, when I saw the notes on this, it sold me. I thought, because it's got red tea, lychee, mango, peach, plum, tang, uh, tangerine, and benzoin. I, th I thought, home run, home run, home run. And then when I did the unboxing, I was like, mm, I don't know. I get some sweetness, but I get a, um, it's weird, the way the green sort of notes come through, the tea maybe, and the benzoin maybe, it almost comes uh, across like a sort of a cannabis note, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, it sort of, depending on what when I smell it, sometimes I don't mind it, and sometimes I don't like it. It's definitely not a home run for me on scent, uh, and there is a look at the soap. One thing's about it, it is very, very soft, so soft that if you barely press it, it sticks to your hand. I'm not a big fan of soaps that are that soft. Um, I just find they're a little bit more finicky to lather and the way you add water to them can make it sort of more challenging. But I did make a, a good lather with it. I had to use a good bit of product. But scent, I'm not really sold on. It's got some nice ingredients on it. It's tallow-based, we'll show you right there. But we think we'll certainly get a good shave out of it. Certainly has a nice label. But that name, uh, lychee or lychee is a stone fruit. It's kind of like, it's kind of long. <laughs> but you know, what are you going to do? I'm just being super picky uh, here. Today we're going to announce the winner also of the um, Twig Thorn Edition Razor that's been up for giveaway for a couple of weeks. So you're going to want to stand by for that. So let's get right into the shave today. The razor, of course, is going to be the Twig Thorn Edition in black. And by the way, if you haven't seen it, the Twig uses a half double-edged razor blade and it uses that twist mechanism which twists the top up and around and then you bring it back down the same way so you can just buy a half de blade pack or you can just snap a full de blade in half i really like using this razor uh, a lot we have our standard almost 24 hours of growth today and we're going to wet the face and get right into it the brush for today is again the ap shape co handcrafted series and we have a nice lather here, I think, with our McDuff's soap. Again, the scent for me is, um, it's just kind of, sometimes I smell it and I'm like, oh, that's kind of pleasant. And then this sort of green note sort of comes out every now and then that I'm not the biggest fan of. But quality-wise, I think we've got a, a nice lather with it. I don't expect any quality problem because when you, uh, when you see the consistency of this lather, you can just tell it's going to be slick because it's, it does take water well, and so that's nice. It was, uh, like I said, um, I got a little too much water in it early on. I had to add a little more product, and sometimes with these really soft soaps, that's what happens to me. Um, I prefer them just a little slightly more firm. They don't have to be hard. I don't need a triple milled hard soap, but I like them to be just a little bit firm, and I find that I get good lathering results easy with that, whereas... If they're really, really soft, like the recent offerings from Zingari Man or Gentleman's Knot or something like that, they're a little bit more challenging for me because I have to be careful of how I add water um, and at what points I add water. Whereas with the other soaps I use on a regular basis, you know, Sterling, Shannon's, whatever, uh, it just doesn't matter. You can just kind of mindlessly lather them easily. But I will say this one certainly came around, so... Let's get going with our Twig Thorn Edition. Now, this razor, the Thorn, is finally up on the Leafs website for sale. Up to this point, it's been like you'd, you'd have to reach out to them and request it, but now it is for sale on their website. I will have links to everything below if you're interested. And as I always say, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, buy whatever you like. 
but those links are there for your convenience should you want to use them um, strictly for your convenience very nice very nice oh and i want to thank by the way our latest patreon supporter who is brendan thank you so much brendan i really appreciate your support the supporters of the the patrons and the folks who are watching the videos and and so on i, I can't thank you enough you're the ones who make this uh regular content uh possible and i thank you very very much uh, the blade by the way in the twig thorn edition razor that's what they're calling it now is the uh, astra sp so just a sort of middle of the road uh daily driving type blade and it's working very well and i really like this um thorn edition Again, it's still called the Twig, but it is now called the Thorn Edition. And what's the difference between the Thorn Edition and the regular Twig? Um, there's a 0.2 millimeters more of blade gap and 0.18 millimeters of span. And to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what span is. I don't know if they mean, you know, they've redesigned this head to where you're getting more width-wise of the blade or exposure. I'm not really sure. Um, but ask Leaf if you like exactly what the, uh, they mean when they say span, because I'm not sure. I think I did ask, but I don't recall hearing back. Um, I could be mistaken, though. Maybe I didn't ask. Sometimes I have things in my head that I, I think I did, and perhaps I didn't do. <laughs> you know how that goes. Anyway, the first pass, very, very nice. The soap was uh, nice and slick. I believe this said this was the version 4 base from McDuff's. It's the first time I've ever used a McDuff soap and I'm having no problem. By the way, I had a little um, bump right there that I've opened up, so that's no fault of the razor or me. It's just I went right over it and sometimes we'll have that. All right, let's get into pass number two. First pass was good, the quality of the soap, no problems whatsoever. Again, the scent, sometimes I find it rather pleasant and sometimes less so. It's not a home run for me. In fact, I was talking to John from Latherhawk yesterday, and he said he'd like to try it if I didn't like it. And so, John, I'll send this one over to you. Um, it's not that I don't like it. It's just not, for me, the scent is, it's not enough of a home run for me to keep. I only keep soaps that I really, really like. And so, this one, uh, I won't keep. But it is pleasant, but it just, it's got that one element that sort of pushes it out of home run territory for me. But I still think, uh, I think many people would find this soap quite enjoyable. I think they'd appreciate the sweetness of it. It's not super sweet. It's got some sweetness to it, but it's not, it's not so sweet that it's sort of, some people, um, they really dislike soaps that get too sweet. I don't think this one is too sweet. I think it hits a level of sweetness that's really nice. But then, like I said, could be that tea note or something that comes out and, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that, whatever that sort of greenish um, note is, but the soap quality itself, uh, no problems whatsoever. So I think it's certainly, if you haven't tried McDuff's, I think you can try it with confidence in terms of, uh, you know, it being a quality soap with good slickness and, and all that. The things that are needed for the mechanics of your shave I think are going to be just fine. I can't speak to the post. And honestly, when it comes to, um, when it comes to shaving soaps, I try not to speak to the post too much because I use post shave products, which for me handle all my post shave needs. So the, the purported qualities of a lot of, a lot of the, uh, the soaps out there for post shave, I'm never really going to have a chance to experience that because, you know, I'm using witch hazel, I'm using alum, and then I'm following up with a, another splash with, you know, aloe and things like that. So there's not very many times where a shaving soap's going to sort of shine through after having used all those sort of poche products. And I like using those poche products, so I'm certainly not going to stop. It works well for me. And in fact... Um, when I was at the beach, I wasn't using my alum and witch hazel and stuff. And those bumps 
sort of cropped up during that time. And that's not to say it's for that reason, but I think my skin prefers my daily routine, you know, the way it is. So, um, I really like using my post shave products. They're a big part of my routine and they're very enjoyable. And by the way, the twig today, Thorn Edition, excellent. I love it. It really is a nice half DE blade shaver. And let's go ahead and announce the winner of the Twig uh, Thorn Edition Prism Edition razor. And the winner of this razor is Dolphinately Bro. And we'll put up the winner right there. I used a uh, YouTube random comment picker. And Dolphinately Bro is a Patreon supporter. So thank you very much, Dolphinately Bro. Thanks so much for your support. The Patreon supporters, of course, get entries automatically into the giveaways. And so, Dolphinly Bro, thank you so much for your, your excuse me, support. Email me your address, cdb at imcdb.com, and I will get that out to you. Congrats, and I hope you enjoy the razor. And thanks to Leaf for providing that giveaway. I really, really appreciate that. Very nice, very nice. And I'm all, almost used all my McDuff's up here which is no problem. It is a good lather though. Um, but like I said, I had to use a little bit more product and I find that's just the case with me and super, super soft soap. This this soap is soft and almost goopy in its uh, texture when you sort of scoop it out of the bowl. Or like I said, if you touch it, it transfers right onto your finger. And that is a very, very soft soap when that happens. So this is, uh, you could almost... This is almost cream soft out of the tub. And again, maybe if you left it set for a few months, it would lose some of that water and, you know, firm up a little bit. I think I would prefer that. But overall, good quality soap. I would say, oops, I'm knocking over everything in the restroom here. Sorry about that. Um, I would say if you've never used, um, let's wipe this off, a McDuff soap, you can certainly, on a quality basis, uh, you know, use with confidence. I don't think there are any quality issues that are standing out here. At least not that I can tell. And let's get this third pass underway with our Twig Thorn Edition. Again, the, the Twig Thorn Edition, you can feel a little more blade, which is natural when you have a little more blade gap. It's still, I think it puts it in the sort of medium range of efficiency, which is nice. I think the regular twig is maybe it's mild, but approaching medium. And this one is firmly within medium, I think. And I really enjoy using it. It feels quite nimble because of that small head. And uh, I have really enjoyed using it. I've used it quite a few times since it came out. And as far as half DE blade shavers go, which, and you know, for those I'm talking about like the Razor Rock has one called the Echo. There are some others like the, the Broman that I have. This one is my favorite half DE shaver. I really like it. It does a great job and it feels nimble. Um, I dig it. It's I, do, I dig the uh, loader mechanism, which, which is that twist and around thing I showed you at the beginning. It's a good little razor. And uh, it shaves very well. And uh, normally I use, uh, I've used feather blades in it, but today with the Astra, shaving just fine as well. Not having any issues with it. Overall, really nice little razor. I've definitely enjoyed my shaves with it. And the soap now, the funny thing about the soap is the scent sort of comes in waves. And now I'm getting that sort of greenish, it's like a dank green, like I said, it's almost to my nose, like some of the cannabis scented soaps, it comes across almost like that, which is kind of a dank um, sort of green that I just don't like that much. And when that note presents itself, which isn't all the time, it's just kind of in a wave every now and then, I don't really like it. <laughs> but fortunately, most of the time I get the sweetness, which I do like. And I thought, based on the notes of this soap, this is going to be home run city. And it turned out that, man, eh, I just don't like it. <laughs> uh, you know, what are you going to do? 
Also, I don't really know what lychee or lychee smells like, the fruit, because I've never had it. I don't think I've ever seen one, to be honest. Um, not around here, anyway. We don't necessarily have a lot of exotic fruits in the supermarket here. So I, I, I might have seen it in a Whole Foods or something at one point, you know, as I've traveled, but I've never seen any here. So I don't know what it smells like, if it has a green note to it. I'm, I'm assuming this is maybe the Benzwin or uh, um, red tea that I'm smelling. It just isn't to my liking, but soap quality. It's quite good. No problem with the soap. Fair price, especially since it's coming over an international border. So um, first run with it, quite good. McDuff's, I'd say it's a pretty decent soap. No reason to stay away from it if you've been looking to try it. All right, that was a very nice shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our PAA uh, alum, no stinging. So that was a nice, super smooth shave. Followed that with a cold water rinse, toweled off with the Lancaster towel. And then we applied the Thayer's. This, this one is the um, cucumber watermelon and boy, is it pleasant. The scent doesn't hang around, but when you spray it, it just smells so nice. And this was sent to me by uh, Justin. Uh, carry on steady on Instagram and I absolutely love it. It is very, very pleasant uh, magic because it's made by witches, of course. So today we use the, uh, this is McDuff's Shave Company. This is uh, lychee or lychee is a stone fruit. Uh, good quality soap. I didn't really care for the texture, a little soft um, for my taste, uh, but good quality soap, uh, decently priced. I didn't really care for the scent though. It's got a, a sort of dank or weird green note to it that I just didn't care for. So not a winner for me, so I'll be sending this one along to Jonathan Latherhog. But the ride today with the with the Twig Thorn Edition razor was quite good with the Astro Blade, nice, smooth, nimble shaver. And remember, the Thorn is now available on uh, Leaf's website. I will link it for you below if you are interested in uh, a Twig razor. It's just a little bit more efficient, and I like it. I do prefer it. We used our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush, which I love, Captain's Choice Bowl. And we're gonna finish it out today with Sterling Citron. Uh, we're gonna get a scent that I do like to close it out today. And I hope you folks, wherever you are, have fantastic shaves and fantastic days. And I hope it's a very positive, great shave for you and great experience. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.